Hi, this is Lynn with MI Tinker, and today we're working on my Samsung refrigerator again. And I have found that the, the French door mullion has broken and it has become a problem because we're used to opening the door and having this mullion fold back automatically and then close. But it is not, so it is always hitting the right side of the door. And we will work on making this French door work and let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take off these two screws. Okay, that is off. There are two hinge slip-on clips at the top and the bottom. So you just lift up on it and then it comes off. Now this is the part where it's nice to have a second set of hands or rest it on your barbecue <laughs> bottle. Once you get the clip pulled out of the door unit, you're gonna to need to pe have a piece of tape, which will be taped to the clip to keep it from retracting into the door. So I've got my piece of tape handy. And what other I have not seen is how to get this off. So I'm gonna show you. And that is you push down here on this bottom tab and pull it out. And before this, gets pulled back into their fridge, wrap a piece of tape around it so that it doesn't retract. Now that we've got this mullion free, we are going to uh, take a look inside. There are little clips that are on either side of these holes here, and they're usually within a half an inch of either side. So if you push in, down and up, that helps release the clip. Push in, down, and up. There we go. See how I got the end? There's a clip right at the end there. Okay, now we're getting it. And then it's a good idea to slide something in there to keep it from going back. And then just keep working your way down. And and up. Here it is. And this is the spring that is broken. We're going to take this little piece of insulation foam off. Same here. Remove the bits and pieces. And what I discovered is I was hoping it would just be the spring, but this retaining sleeve is broken. Half of it's missing. So I'm kind of going to try and do a bush fix on it. Put a nail in, which is slightly larger diameter than the actual spring. And then I'm going to take some of this JB Weld, which is a two-part epoxy, but it has a 600 PSI strength. I'm using gloves. I only need like a pea size. So it's thoroughly mixed. And I'm going to just shape it and form it a little. Yeah, there's plenty of plenty of play on that. Take that out because it's already shaped and formed, and we'll let that dry. Okay, and as, as I've shown you before, this is my MacGyver fix. It should only take three hours to harden, but um, just to be on the safe side, I've let that JB Weld plastic uh, fix harden overnight. So now it's time to get the spring back in. This is my replacement spring. This is from Amazon. I'm gonna slide the short end in. And then this is the flap that opens and closes it. Fair amount of tension on that. And that slides into place like this. So now that flap will rotate. Right. 
we get our foam back in. See how it's got that little piece of foam? Um, this foam, the wire needs to be tucked underneath that. Like so. And this piece of foam goes into place here. And that wire wants to keep popping back out, so we'll tuck it back in. Like that. Now I'm going to turn it around. And we're just going to clip these, clip this back shut again. Make sure both sides clip as such. Now it's time to reinstall it on the refrigerator. I'll reclip it. Take the tape off. Make sure it's the right orientation. Tuck the clip back into the door housing. Okay. Bottom lined up, got the top lined up. Slide it down. Now let's put the screws back in. Sometimes those are a little tricky to line up. So you do want to make sure that lined up properly. There we go. Okay, let's test it out. And it is folded back as it should be. And it closes as it should. Fold it back. And then closes as it should. There's no more banging on either side. We have success. So thanks for joining me today for this bush fix on my Samsung refrigerator. The JB Weld has got a six, 600 pound PSI uh, rating, so it should be a very strong polymer that will help keep this bush fix going for a good long time. There are pros and cons to doing it this way. The pro is it cost me the price of the JB Weld and some time. The con is, it's not a factory fix. This refrigerator is out of warranty, and there have been a lot of bush fixes on these refrigerators. So in my book, there's no harm, no foul in trying to do a fix such as this. If it's just my time and a few dollars worth of plastic polymer to make this work for several years more. So uh, again, thanks for joining me. Lynn with MI Tinker and this bush fix for my Samsung French door refrigerator. Hit that like button and please subscribe. It will help this channel grow. Thanks.